the final Pakatan Rakyat Convention before the 13th general election kicked off in Shah Alam on Monday with the unveiling of the PAC's election manifesto. The manifesto, delivered by PKR's Rafizi Ramli, PAS Dr. Zulkifli Ahmad and DAP's M. Kula Segarin, covers a broad range of topics. Some of Pakatan's promises include increasing minimum household income to 4,000 ringgit in its first term in power, removing 1 million foreigners from the workforce over five years and stopping the Lina's rare earth plant in Gebeng. Pakatan leaders also promises to lower fuel prices and electricity tariffs, cancel the Automated Enforcement System, AES, and recognize the Unified Examination Certificate, UEC. The manifesto also promises the construction of a pan Borneo highway linking Kuching and Kota Kinabalu. Those attending included PKR advisor Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, past president Datuk Sri Abdul Hadi Awang, DAP advisor Lim Kit Siang, and DAP secretary general Lim Guan Eng. Delegates welcomed the coalition's first manifesto, saying it is inclusive and will help the lower and middle income groups. PKR Deputy President Azmin Ali says the manifesto is comprehensive and will positively impact the nation. Past Deputy President Mohamad Sabu says it is important that the contents of the manifesto be implemented well. Pakatan Harapan Rakyat, 